G'day guys and welcome back to another episode of the On and Off podcast. We're obviously uh, Adzi here. Got Ads always on the on the pod with me. How you going, mate? Well, we're sharing microphones over here, so um, <laughs> hasn't been the most promising start. But um, no, I'm going well, mate. I'm going really good. Yourself? Yeah, good. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be very awkward, but we'll do it. We'll do it. We'll get it done because we uh, we can't get a, another microphone working here. Um, but we've obviously got special guests on this week. We've been waiting a long time for this to happen. Uh, Brad Johnson up. and Rowan Smith, thank you for joining us. No worries, Dax. Thanks. thanks for having us. Thanks for That's having great. us. About, about time we're able to work it out too to, to <laughs> as, get on with you as guys. As you could just see, Jono's a uh, very busy man. His phone was just going off then. So um, <laughs> we actually are it? very, very privileged to have these two guys on. Bulldogs Royalty, AFL Royalty. So um, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm very lucky. To, we're both very lucky to have you both here. Uh, thanks for That's having That's great us, to boys. be here. You guys are doing a, a great job Amazing. on and off the field. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Firstly, no, I want to ask. I, I don't, I'm not sure what Bubba might say because he's busy, obviously, coaches. He's one of the star coaches here and he's the reason why we defend really well and um, <laughs> he's just a star. But Jono, do you listen to our potty? I do, every now and then. The kids do. The kids definitely do because they, they, they love dunks, of course, and um, you know we've known, known the great man for a little while now. And So Ella and Jack absolutely admire, uh, admire the great man, although Ella's a bit older now and <laughs> not much in terms of age difference, but Jack really looks up to... To dunk, so always that sends him off to sleep most weeks. Listening and, to your and Donna sends him off to sleep. <laughs> hey, like, can we, uh, sends him off to sleep. Exactly. No, <laughs> that and Donna, of course. Yeah. Yep. What uh, if you guys had the chance? Um, because people quite often talk about obviously the, they call the bromance and whatnot, and it's obviously built something uh, to this. So obviously doing a potty now. Um, but apparently you guys were were the two OGs. Uh, obviously not OGs. Mean. Yeah? No. It's original. Isn't it? Original. <laughs> there we go. See? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm up with it. Bubba's hanging around the youngsters. It's because it's hanging around the youngsters. <laughs> it's around the youngsters. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It's exactly. Apparently, right. you two were the um, the original OGs who built the bromance um, up from the start when you guys obviously became teammates and, and grew up together and, and played footy together. If you had the chance, would you have started a potty together? Well, back in the day. Oh, yeah. For sure. No question. Yeah, for sure. No question. 100% we would. Was, was it very, uh, like, back in the day? You say back in the day. Was it very. Media focus. Did you have people that wanted to do this kind of thing with you? Nah, nah. We, so really radio wasn't interviews a, and that kind of thing. Oh, we never really did a lot, did we? we like honestly, yeah. You know, there's more journos now than than players. Yeah. Um. So it wasn't really a, a thing. Like doing a, a TV interview. Maybe when the shows, when the footy shows started to sort of become more prevalent. I suppose you'd you do a little bit more, but. Yeah, early, in, in the early days, it wasn't much. No, nah, just the footy show. The, fo- the footy show we all watched because you that was your selection. You knew yeah, whether yeah. you're <laughs> playing or not, whether by, by whether you by whether you uh, were named on the on the footy show that night. So that was the everyone watched it. So yeah. that's how that started to evolve. And then we we did a couple of things for the footy show. That, it just some of the things that that were sort of bandied around town. It just. It just, out of nowhere, it just sort of started to, it started to, to develop grow, and it? started to grow, and yeah. um, and we were we were pretty tight. So from that point of view, and it's it's quite humorous watching you guys and uh, the way you are on the field. Um, don't obviously see too much off, but but we were sort of um, similar in that in that aspect. Our biggest one was the tunnel. I moved into Williamstown, and there there was <laughs> a this. there was a tunnel between my place and. And Smitty's place, and and we lived on that for for quite some time, didn't, didn't we? No. Well, on we, my never, s- we never dismissed it. No, on my side of the bed, I had a little door, <laughs> so I used to just wow. roll out of bed, we open the door, game, and off we go. Yeah. <laughs> and it was only like a really, it was a two hundred meter walk, and I'd pop up on Johnny's side of the bed. <laughs> <laughs> when, so when did? So who's older out of you two? I am. Yep. I actually, you actually just celebrated your birthday. So yeah, happy yeah, birthday. yeah. Birthday. 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 Thanks, birthday. Thanks, birthday. Yeah, 49 yesterday, so nearly raising the bat. But, yeah, I am older than And how old are you, John? <laughs> Did you seriously, like, is that a serious question? Oh, Who's oh, older oh, between oh, you two? Is that, are you, you John seriously? Ravens That's great. <laughs> He's insane. <laughs> really? That's why I love you, Ads. That's <laughs> hang on, I might, hang on. I might have less hair. Hang on, Look at John. Your listeners out there want to know. They might not know, in case they're the first time they've seen you guys. So what's the age difference between you two? Four years. Oh, it's the same as us. Or three, it's three, four. four. I'm still forty-five. <laughs> I'm still forty-five, but I'm yeah. nearly forty-six. Nearly so three, three years, forty-six three in like three weeks. So, oh, so it's three oh, years. It's three years. But the thing was that when I first arrived at the club, see Smitty, being a local Yarraville boy, he embraced anyone from the western suburbs that walked <laughs> through the doors. So I was sort of, um, I was one of those western suburbs boys that that walked through, and he grabbed me straight away and said, "Come on, I've got you." 
and looked after me from from that point on. So it was, and it was like my Numbers first were close. yeah first year. I was thirty three, and then when I stepped into into the six, Smitty was the five, and 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 away we went. It was um, that was it. We lived in each other's pockets for the next you know twelve or thirteen years. So, so I've got a question. When did it first start to be called a bromance? Like, what were you doing? That was my what, next question. What was my mind, mate? What was there something that stood out to you both? That like it was just one of those natural relationships that evolved over time. We started as friends, and then we become best friends, and then from there it progresses even. Yeah. But then the girls more. become best friends as well. Yeah, Alison and Donna become best mates. Um, so it sort of grew from there. And, and then, then we, we do away. drive. Yeah, you, know, you drive together. You do a, a holiday together That's up it. at Noosa or whatever, and and then it just exploded. Basically, what? B one and B two. Yeah. And <laughs> that was weird called sometimes. But what was your? Do you remember your first? Um, Opinion, I guess, was of one another. Like your, do you remember the first time you seen him versus your first time you seen? First John time Ob- I saw Rowan was get out of his his <laughs> Commodore here at the Witten Oval with, with with Bubba number plates. Oh. <laughs> and, Are you serious? And, 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 and give it too much away. No, no, here, that's okay. Come on, mate. That's okay. That's this out there. Great. That's out there in the in the in the public domain. So that was my first. <laughs> I haven't first got those glimpse. number plates no, anymore. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Sold them. My first glimpse of Rowan was was that. And I'm like, wow, man, this is this is serious. Now, well, isn't it? This you, is elite. You're, you're a big Bulldogs fan, weren't you, John? I was a Bulldogs up. fan. Obviously, knew of so you Rowan. Granny, Granny was my my favourite. Yep. In that uh, in that period, because he was oh, he was the same age, so he was yeah. of Smitty. So you know, being three years older, I'm 15, watching 14, watching Granny as a 17 year old kick 50 goals, and I'm like, how good how good is this yeah. bloke going? Yeah. Sort of thing. So walking in and and seeing these uh, guys and the older ones in particular, because it was Hawk, yeah, and, Hawk and, and Steve Wallace Wally. and Steve McPherson and you know those those hard edge guys, Mark Hunter and yeah. Nigel Callett were Old were the guys. But you uh, should have said John back to the number plates. Number plates are gone. Um, but when John first walked into the club, like I mean, you, you should you, this kid is like the skinniest little thing you've ever seen, right? Um, smiling, and, smiling, absolutely. The rosy cheek. He had pristine like skin. Like he just was dark and like the rosy cheeks. He's still got a little bit little of a bit. rose there, but the rosy cheeks really stood out. But the biggest thing was for Jono was that he was always bubbly, he was always up, and he worked his backside off, and that really drew me to him, yep, I suppose. Yep. When he first started to come, you know, to to, to train, he was yep. just he was a freak, yeah, absolute okay. freak. So in my school uniform, I walked in the first day as he well. He didn't have his license either. <laughs> really? So his mum and dad used to drive him here, wait and sit, finish training, and then drive home yeah. back to Hoppers Crossing. Nigel and, uh, Callett was in Hoppers, so he'd pick oh, me up Nigel, all the, all yeah, the time as well. So things you, you just did you know, because back then I was. Um, Still doing year 12, but I went to school in Geelong. But it was just where training was. It was three nights a week. Yeah. I'd come home from, from school at Hoppers, get picked up or get driven in, and, and off you'd go to, to train. And then when would it start? <coughs> your French, I know you touched on how you started friends and become best mates. Mm. When did that actually start? You actually started... I think it was your 21st. Friendship. I think it was your 21st. <laughs> Which would have been obviously later. <laughs> what, what happened that night? <laughs> 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 We've got a great story to oh, tell you. Oh, my 21st was a hat party. Hat party? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. You don't hear too many hat parties. Yeah, yeah that's right. <laughs> it was it was a little bit of a wank, but anyway. <laughs> at the time, that but was the thing to do. Like, Between yeah. that and the number plate. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, like, I mean, you know, some people would, you know, make the paper hat and some people would have a crash hat or whatever. And what did you have, please? Oh, I can't remember. I think I had one of those sort of uh, French sort of berets sort of things happening at the oh, at the yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah, but we've Something a bit random. Yeah. We sort of become really close from that point of from that point, I think, mm. especially when you become number six. I was, when John O first come to the club, he'd, he'd always want to do like extra kicking. So I was always up for extra kicking after training, etc. So we become probably close after training, and then we grew the relationship. And then when John O took number six, I had number five, lockers right next to each other, and then we just started just doing everything together. I was going to say that was my next question. Did you end up doing? Was there any like superstitions? It's not that we have superstitions. That we you got. do, no, you and me together. Oh, as in you know how we used to get. Yeah, but if we didn't go to the game, that's one thing we do. So <laughs> sorry, that's probably one thing. Is there anything that you guys? Was well, there something where like maybe go to the game together or kick in the warm up together or things that you'd do together? So there clearly is. You're both there's a couple. Oh, there. They just look at each other and they're like, <laughs> "We got heaps." Oh, you do? Oh, oh yeah. How long we got? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just tell us a few. <laughs> No, the, bit, the the one that I always get the most humour out of was interstate trips. We'd, we'd room together on a on an interstate trip. And was that, you'd ask the club, 
Would you ask? No, no, we we no. You always always put it. Everyone was partnered. Everybody. It wasn't you had your own room uh, back then. So I partnered with uh, with Smitty, but he would have. He would have six Freddos before <laughs> strawberry Freddos before every That'd game. Be the, night be like be, the night before every game. And so but I wouldn't have them. But on interstate trips, he'd have to take a take a pack of ten, because you could buy it's the 12, ten pack. Pack of twelve. <laughs> and I'd have I'd have I'd have four to six myself. <laughs> as well. So that's um and the other one that I remember we, we played a state game together. And Smitty used to have a couple of Heatherdale pies before oh, yeah. uh, before a, before a game, before the like game? the day before oh, the game. Day before, day oh, okay. before these okay. pies just melted yeah. in your mouth. Yeah. They, were, they were so good. And so Rowan put me on to we've got to have a couple of pies they, before a state game. I was a bit more sort of relaxed, I suppose, in terms of in terms of that. Had a couple of pies, played okay. So Best then, on. So then pies become part of uh, <laughs> <laughs> Friday, Friday. Pies become part yeah. of our our routine together. But even yeah, warming up, um, we'd always kick, um, stretch. Yeah, like I mean, back in the day, he actually did just partner hamstrings. Yeah. And we were talking about whatever. This yeah. we so, old but we would all like before the game, we'd we'd make sure we'd just run out next to each other through the banner, and then find each other in the, the warm up, do the stretching, kick together. So, like, it's just all those little things that it was probably more for a mindset of of just being regiment and saying, okay, I know that I've done everything right in my mind to make sure that I'm going to give myself the best opportunity to play well. Yeah. And that was just warming up with him. That's that's. And we're pretty sort of lucky, was. I suppose, that we, we didn't miss much footy in, in that. that. So yeah. there, there, wasn't that, there wasn't that gap. The biggest adjustment when when he retired and then it was like, okay, what, what am I going to do, do now? What did you do? <laughs> a room by myself. Fredo's <laughs> <laughs> by yourself. No Fredo's, I slept no brilliantly. Le- uh, leg swings on the goalposts. No, yeah. yeah, no, nobody it wanted to warm up with you. You doing it all on, on, on your own. Yeah. So after, you say you had Fredo's before a game. Did you have? Did you treat yourself? No, my, my routine was I'd have a Powerade and a Mars bar on the way to every game. Oh, that was Mars my, bar. yeah. That was my sort of, uh, I suppose, little superstition. I'd get up at 9 o'clock, six week fix. And then I wouldn't eat anything else until I had a Powerade and a Mars bar, and that was it. Wow, well, it then, sounds like you. And then a night game. Because you want to feel light, don't you? Yeah, right? that's it. That's the thing. And plus I was that nervous that I couldn't yeah. eat anything. Oh, so yeah. really. And that's just the way that it uh the way that it was for And you, Bub? Uh yeah, well I was pretty much the same. We'd have, you know, maybe four bits of toast and that was it. Um What about the night before? I would always have a Gatorade. And six strawberry Freddo frogs. Cadbury strawberry Freddo frogs. <laughs> had, to, had to be six? <laughs> yeah, it had to be six. Notice, for Jono or? Did you notice that he just six? Yeah, Cadbury in then? You just nah, what, <laughs> what? So what happened? So, oh, we might do you want to know the story? Do you want to tell you? Six. So did you have six Freddo frogs for Jono? No, 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 no. So did, oh, so oh, that's, oh, what, that's what hey, I was thinking. Nah, exactly. well, was, I like your thinking though. So yeah. I was in the under-19s um, and mum and dad must have went shopping and mum must have bought a packet of strawberry Freddo frogs. So it was the night before an under-19s game. Never did it before. I thought, I'm watching a Michael Jordan tape, uh, Rare Air or Airtime or something like that, uh, on the VHS. And, um, <laughs> and, uh, and I just opened up these packet of Freddos. And for some reason, I just had six. For no, no other apparent reason. But, and then I just put them away. And then went out there next day in under-19s and... Dominated. And brain. <laughs> 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 Absolutely brain them. I'm thinking, well, I've got to do that again. Like, you know, when you get caught on something, you think, okay, I've just yeah. got to do it again. And from that day on until I retired my 300th game, I had six Cadbury Strawberry Friday Frogs before every game. Isn't that crazy? So, yeah. Did you, so, so you guys, do you have any superstitions like that that you that have just evolved over time? Together? Or together and, and individually? Well, together, we just drive to the game yeah. together every week. Mum's and uh, me. oh, mum's calling me. <laughs> Probably should <laughs> <don't know>. slide. <laughs> we drive. Sorry, mum. I, I, I'm in Hyatt. Do you take it in turns? In who drives? No, nah, he drives every. No, nah, I drive. Okay, yeah. so he he lives in Hyatt, and I live in Kew. So he drives like 45 minutes across town oh, to God. me to your house, and, and then we go to Marvel or MCG. And together. we're playing mo- at the moment. We're playing most. What about games sort of the what about the airport? Yeah, does does Ads drive? He to drives you, to my house, and then and you then, go to the airport together. Yeah. Airport's different because well, I'm closer. Yeah. The games at the MCG or Etihad or Marvel. You're driving out of your way. He's driving out of his way. <laughs> I'm driving 50 minutes out. I sometimes say to him, like, mate, you know, Friday night, like, traffic, he does. traffic, like, you can just go. He's like, no, 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 I'm coming to yours. No. But it's again, like, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's just that's a mindset yeah. thing, isn't it? Yeah. Like, you just, okay, no, that's what we yep. do. And you stick to the routine and, and then you know you've, you've done everything. Some people are superstitious. Some people yeah. aren't. Oh, Have you had those I'm moments then that, that where one's not playing and you're like, yeah, well, what, what, year, what are we doing? Yeah. Last year, you... Actually, Remember, I was injured and yeah. you were playing still. Yeah, but... I th- and then you got injured. Oh, actually, no, we did. I ended up going to your... Ga- <laughs> you picked I, me I up. I was playing, I picked you up. <laughs> we went together. <laughs> I was That's in how we ended up doing it. That's right. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, but I, I think... So, the way I think about that as well, Jono, 
oh, Baba, you just said um, it's part of superstition and yeah. and that's kind of your routine. My thing is as well is is I don't want to take anything for granted. So when I retire, I want to look back and be like, yeah, I used to always go to the game with Dunks because yeah, it was something that I did. I appreciated our time together. Yeah, we would go out there and we play and, and have a good time doing it. That's something that I've always thought about now because I when he said to me, trust me, there's been times where I'm like, oh, I really want to drive 50 minutes. <laughs> yeah. School's on. There's traffic yeah. everywhere. I don't really want to drive. So I end up driving and I'm going and I enjoy it. Um, now, what's the trip like though? Because on, on you and I. That's a good question. Oh, we, yeah. would, mm. we would not. Talk? We, we, well, I don't think we would have talked because we're so, yeah, before a yeah. game, just a little bit focused and just sit there. I reckon we put a movie on the hotel room. Yeah, put, put, put a movie on the night before. Yeah. Always watch, just watch a movie, silence. Yeah. <laughs> Shut it down. All the footy was on or whatever yeah. we're watching. And then that's it. Get up the next day. So what's the car trip like between you two? Well, it's actually probably the opposite. Yeah. Oh, really? We talk okay, about so a little bit more relaxed. We and... talk about everything. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good. We, do. we talk about life, everything. If you could be a fly on the wall in the car, trust me, you'd love it. <laughs> you should tape it. You should put do the potty in the car. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think <laughs> some of the stuff. <laughs> some of the stuff we say. Oh. Play, opposition we're coming up against. Two pot couple players we're coming up against. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Whatever it may be. But no, yeah. we sound we sound like the Riley O'Brien. He's lazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, but good. also on top of that as well. We are competitive as well. We're super competitive with everything we do. Mm. Clearly, that must have been something that drove both of you guys oh. as well. Oh, no matter what you're doing, you'd want to beat yep. each other at everything. Uh, like, I mean... It's fair to say I was but, probably more dominant. Than we are? <laughs> no, I'm well, joking, oh, mate. I'm no, no, joking. No, no, no. no, this is well, really what? good. This well, is, well, this is nah. great. Well, Barbara so and I are probably similar. <laughs> <laughs> so can, can, we, can, we can, we, can we ask, Joe? Like, I mean, for, apart from football, where he absolutely was so much better than me. It wasn't funny. Um, but let's, let's talk about cricket. Oh, I love this. Uh, hey, true. hey, we're exactly the same. Well, let's talk about cricket, Beach. Are, are you any good at cricket? <laughs> I've I've never no, played cricket in my life. <laughs> so, but you are you good? No, I'm no. no good. Okay, so John has got concrete boots. You know, you know the you know, concrete boots. You know the you test match cricket. game that you've got, and you know the oh, way the, the way the batter. Yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah that's me. Like, oh. <laughs> I'm shocking. Oh, I'm terrible. Um, all right. So, uh, are you good at golf? I'm getting better. I was no good back in the day. I was. I tried. I loved it, and I still love the game. But I was no good. Eventually, got lessons in the last couple of years. Now. So yeah, he would now. smash the ball seriously. Three hundred baseball grip, just whoosh, now. smash it. <laughs> now we're both shocking swimmers. So <laughs> <laughs> we're okay. we're we're better. Better. <laughs> I no, think John would be. Yeah, we each other. Yeah, I swim like a rock. Seriously, yeah. I'm terrible. Now this could be a, te- a contentious one. Tennis. Oh, that's that is that is tight. It because would always go down to a tiebreaker. We used to Between always go us. down to John O's holiday house down at Colindina or Ocean Grove and we'd have this tennis tournament and we're that competitive, I'd start throwing <laughs> the racket, I'd hit the ball at him and like we're just that competitive, we just wanted to beat each other. He was the aggressive one oh, in, yeah, the, shocking. in the relationship. But, um, See, that's probably you. See, I'm probably the aggressive one out of us two. And but he's more dominant like in the gym. Did you do that in the gym? Oh, but he, Footy yeah, stuff? In the gym, gym? though, like oh, bench press especially, but in the gym he used to smash me. Yeah, yeah, that's what he's like. What about... Say uh, a tackling drill outside, or like no, we time, never both. Ta- we didn't tackle, mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Is that a part of the game? Tackle, you tackle. <laughs> tackle. really? Or well, we What's do this sumo that wrestle. <laughs> you might have seen us do it. Hey? Well, sometimes we go and you know the ring that oh, we do. Sumo. Yeah, you know yeah, yeah. the sumo that we do. Yeah. But we sometimes do it after training. Oh yeah, and we've yeah stopped, I have seen We've that. stopped now because yeah, it's four 0 It's too competitive. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> do I have to get into this? <laughs> yes. It's because he's outsmarting me. That's why. It's, oh, not, it's not a test so of pure strength. It's a thinking man. He's he really just puts all he, like he thinks he can just move me. But I can't. Which I he can. I yeah. So I use it against he him, does, and fairness, I push obviously. against him, and then roll him over, and then push him out of the circle. That's okay. Fair. He's beat smart. Me. He has beat me. But but did you guys have anything like that at all? No. Not not really. Not 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 for. I mean, you wouldn't just. Oh, let's have a goal king come. I'm going to verse you. You verse me. Religiously, uh, we, we we would have along the yeah, way, no, yeah, no along question. Way, but okay. there no, wasn't, no wasn't doubt. religiously yeah, that we just have a, a shot after goal. Yeah. Yep. After the, I did a lot of my my shots with Granny more so than, yeah. than anything. Bubble yep. was sort of just down well, the back. Makes, he was down at the goal square kicking him back out. To I, was, us. I was just a deliverer, Ed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I just kicked the both Granny and John. And they it was it's actually it's an interesting point that you bring up the fact of of that. Like so, Rowan and I had that sort of. Relationship, a little bit of waxing in in some ways that <laughs> you waxed, but the it was, I gave it to Adam eight times on the weekend. No, no. So <laughs> I'm getting to that. So, <laughs> so we had a pretty much a fifty fifty split in terms of oh, looking yeah. looking after each other. You know what I mean? Like it. So <laughs> what do you, what do you <laughs> well, really? Well, it's probably more had. one way. Like, but but that gets to the point. So I've done some work That's in so the background with Champion Data today, just oh, to no. just to see oh, right, no, just this. to see. I love this. The fact that. Of how it sits with with Absolutely. you guys, 
And you oh, mentioned you mentioned eight zip on the weekend and yeah. watching the game that it was so evident that every time you get the ball dunks. You give it to Adam. <laughs> Every time Adam gets the ball, it's not coming your <laughs> no, way. It's not. It's a one-way street. <laughs> the way it's, I see it is, we look, at our, we look at our physical attributes. Of the time. I'm 80, just too quick. I'm 80, not involved. I'm 80% of the time, he's giving the ball. To you. 80% of the time, so he the op- gets the footy. So now the opposition, sorry, I've just given it away, but the oppo, every time Dunks gets it, just man up to a law, you'll be right. <laughs> Hang on. Donna, is this 80% of the time he gets the ball? Not just, not not um, 80, 80% of the time in the I game. I may on have the inflated week. the stats oh. a little bit, but. Uh, <laughs> he's put a bit <laughs> of money on No, but it's 100% last week. Yeah, it was. 100%. But if you've had 30, you've given him 20 times. Nah, <laughs> yeah. that's not right. <laughs> I gave it to him. Well, he missed the goal last week, so I had to give it to him again to kick one. Yeah. No, that's fair enough. No, but the, this is the, the the biggest thing that I'm looking for in your relationship is the celebration. So yeah. the thing is that Dunks, you're always over. Adams kicks a, a few more goals than what you do every now and so. Oh, you're always over to him first, which is which is what I like to see. So the first person that after you kick a goal, you're always celebrating together, and that's the true, I suppose. Uh, relationship status yep. on the field yep. is yep. is that Pick moment that moment there. Well, right that was there. another thing I was thinking of. When you, I was just talking about the competitive side of things, um, and you guys would have been the same after a game, or even just during the game. I'm always obviously worrying, worrying about how how we're going, how I'm going, blah blah blah. But I'm also thinking at the same time, I, you know, how you're going. Hope he's going well. After the game, I'll ask him, check in, see how you're going. Were you guys like that? Did you have it in your mind, like, oh, how's Jono going? How's Bubba going? Like, uh, did you have that? Because I do, I openly do. I didn't have to worry about John because he's really. getting well every no, week. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> it was. It's quite funny. Everyone used to say, you know, oh, Smitty looks for you all the time. But you just, I just knew his game he that knew. well. I feel that I'm right. the same with that. Same. That when Smitty got it off half back, I knew exactly what he was doing. I knew exactly when he was going to kick it, and I knew exactly <laughs> what point he'd be able to hit. So. It's not that difficult, yep. you know what I mean. So yep. I would always make sure he's coming off half back. It was the same when it's just knowing you your know, teammates, exactly throughout throughout time. You know, West you'd step out of traffic left all the time and kick it. You you yep. just knew that. Yep. So it was just exactly you know what you guys are, are going through and understanding each other's games to that. And you're talking all the time, so you you and get, to, you get to know it a bit I think as that's well. That's the thing when yeah. you talk and you talk about games and yeah. how he's going, how I'm going. I think that's where you can pick up little cues here and there because I know. And let's be fair. You take a mark. If anyone runs past you, he's going to give it more often than not. It's not just because I'm there, he's going to give it to me. But because I know he's going to do that most yep. of the time. You're running well, over there. chance. I'm going yep. to go. I'm going to run because yeah. I know he's going to get involved in the game. So yeah. Smitty never used to pick anyone up. So he was easy to read. <laughs> <right>? <laughs> so that was... No, but in a, I was before in my good time. Way, so in a good way. I how many times yeah. I've said this. I was so before my time. You don't have to man up. Yeah. Like, he was the on. first half back to get tagged. <laughs> <laughs> but so so someone either Granny be playing half back intercept marks. Smitty's wrapping around for the for the handball. So you just know exactly where, where he's going to go. And it's all it was majority right side dominant. His left foot was for balance only. So it was it was <laughs> well, easy. Too much it was speed. just easy to read. <laughs> so that and that's and that's exactly what you know you guys go through and you and you and you see that in your game. That's it exactly. <laughs> so when you touched on you. Um, Obviously, you retired four years before you retired. Was that how it went? Yep. I know. Was it hard for you initially? I know you touched. We didn't really touch on how much you struggled, but was it actually hard for you, um, Bubba leaving and, and not being able to see yeah, no, him was, and spend time with him? It was because then the the, the new dy- dynamic of um, who's coming into you know number five. Who did come into Maddie Boyd? Maddie Boyd. Maddie Boyd. Oh. Boyd. So. Bordy was great, like seriously. Like we were so similar and Bordy worked harder than, yeah, than anybody. Yeah, right. So I started to track myself that way a little bit because him and Crossy were four four and five and they were flying. And um and then and they they, worked they hard. tried to four and five. Crossy and Bordy tried to steal the bromance side of things too as well. Really? So there you go. There's another little scoop. They did. For you. Yeah, yeah, they tried to. Yep. And did you shut it down? No, nah, it didn't work. <laughs> 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 so so that was the that was the biggest dynamic of of that to start, it, it, it's a shift, no question. Yeah. Because when you, when you, when you're living with each other pretty much full time for a long period of time, um, it, there is that there is that adjustment. And did you find yourself like, would you leave training and call Bubba and be like, no, nah, oh. it was it was funny. Smitty said to me, I, I used to ring and say, mate, come down and yeah. and jump in because it gone with the days of um, you know going to the social club afterwards and all that all that sort of stuff. And I just say, mate, come down and he goes, you'll understand one day. And until it wasn't until the day I retired and that phone call sort of came from a couple of the boys, Gia and Murph, and that sort of stuff. Come back to come back to training. Oh, I'm, I'm okay this week. Um, that you that yeah. you sort of get that you get that sense that you've had your you've your had your moment. Done. Your time's done. Yeah. 
And, it's time to pass. And that. as we know, it it rolls on really quickly yeah. at yeah. AFL level. Yeah. Once you, once you're done, everyone's like, okay, well that was great, well done. But we're going. Yeah. You know, we have got other things to yeah. to yeah. worry about now. I got a question. Who's more emotional? Like, did you ever <laughs> did you ever have fights? Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, probably no, not really. Not really, we didn't really. have a fight. Oh, he kicked me out really of his house once. That yeah, was about that was about it. But that was after a big night. So I was <laughs> that really, was, that really was hungover, yeah. and he came in all bubbly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, and then he's jumped. He's virtually jumped on me, and I'm like, Get yeah. The yeah. Out of my house. <laughs> okay, um, I'll come back later. But no, we never we never fought. Nah. Like, I mean, just, Did you ever just, like think you were fighting? Nah, nah. never. Fight. Never not talk. Like I mean, we. didn't. We, yeah, we wouldn't even have a fight. We wouldn't even have an argument. No, but not a fight. Not, I'm not saying a fight, but more like who's riding the waves more. Oh, of emotionally. You two. Oh, yeah. man, oh, oh, I'm no. so much more of an emotional. So, like, person. did you ever think Bubba was mad at you? No. No. Or like no, vice never. versa. No, Smitty was emotional that he cried every <laughs> any moment. So that was that was. I'm a cryer. He's a cryer. Definitely. I'm definitely yeah. Cryer. <laughs> so, yeah. You two um, are very similar. Then. Yeah. So, but like, I, I am more emotional. Here over here is the Captain Rock. Like, I mean, um, that's but, like him over here too. But um, but yeah, like I mean, I was the more emotional one, and and I might have blown up a little bit more. That John was the Rock, but calm, like really calm. Where I was a little bit more ag- like I get yeah. agitated and whatever. Mm. Um, and then he'd probably just say, "Yeah, shut up and calm down or whatever." And oh, okay, yeah, no worries, and you just move on. So we'd never really blew or anything like that. But yeah. Um, I just asked that question because Ads is very much like that. Like he'll yeah. up and down and I'll think it's my fault. So I'll like go out of my way and call him that afternoon. I'm like, what <laughs> do I right? do? Nah. Oh, I'm not, I wasn't really, I wasn't, I wasn't up and down. We didn't have mobile phones, more, mate, back then. So. <laughs> yeah. yeah, true. The old flip phone. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I'm more emotional. Like I'm a crier. Like yeah. watch a movie, cry. Like I say a speech, cry. Like I'm <laughs> preaching to the choir over here, mate. Shocking. <laughs> if I make a speech, sometimes I'm <laughs> like I'm really bad. Yeah. So. Yep. Did you um you were talking about how you obviously here for another four years? Did you when did you come back to work at the footy club? Was it when Jono was still playing? Nah, Jono retired. Oh, okay. um, I was yeah, say, so how, was, how would that have been? Being yeah, coached by, coached by Bubba. It would have been amazing. Yeah. Do you, reckon, you, do you reckon it would have affected your relationship? At it depends all? Nah. what he would have asked me to do on the field. I think if he started to try to channel me in a way a that, bit, yeah, but I'm you, like, seriously. Ads, don't you know how, you know how I coach? <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't like, I mean, it'd be exactly the same. Like, I mean, you know, I, look, well, I, I left 2006, went to Fox Sports. So my very, f- the very f- round one of 2007 mm. was Adelaide. Adelaide. Yep. Your, that was a milestone. Your, yeah, yeah. And milestone it was John O's yep. 300. Yeah. And so it was my first game of Fox. Oh, wow. And, so I, I hardly said anything all day sitting on the boundary. <laughs> <laughs> just sitting there like Anyway, so Jono kicks six um, in an unbelievable match-winning performance. So I've got to go out and, in, and interview oh, Jono. I interview. Yes. So yes. I still retired from footy and I still couldn't oh. get away. <laughs> I had to interview him. And um, anyway, so it was, it was a great interview for me because it helped me through because I was that nervous. But just going to interviewing was just very calming and, and we are like – and it was just basically – it was like us having a chat, yep. and then the feedback that we got from that interview after the game, it, w- it was like, oh, it was yeah. that was unbelievable yeah. because mm. it was like, right, and we were hugging each other, saying, right, yeah, where are we going to have a beer tonight? <laughs> like, and we're saying that on the telly, and everyone's like, oh, how good's this? Yeah. You know, so it's interesting, isn't it? Was it was that, funny. that moment, the, f- the first game after you retire is a really interesting, interesting one. So you you had that that element. I remember the we had we lost the I did the same thing with with Fox did a Bulldogs game, but we we actually lost that that round one game. And it was sort of like you walked away going, shit, I'm glad I don't have to deal with that <laughs> <laughs> on Monday. So Stress and anxiety. Yeah. 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 Yep. But you still you still live it, don't you? For that yeah. first period yeah. of, of time, it takes a little bit for it. As the years go on, you sort of, um, you fade away a little bit um, with it. As much as I'm still passionate about watching and Insane. supporting yeah. and, and all that sort of stuff, no question. Well, a lot of those players you would have played with yeah, that's right. Because you've still got that. Yeah, you've still got that yeah, relationship, relationship with them. As well. Yeah, and no when doubt. I retired, we played in three losing preliminary finals. That's again. right. Like, and and we'd gone, we'd already gone through three losing preliminary finals, retire and then watch another three. And that's like, a good point, oh. actually. Yeah. Yeah, that's the emotional side of things yeah. too, because yep. you just get worked up. You just want the players to, you know, get that ultimate prize, and mm. it just, yeah, yeah. It just wasn't what, the beat. What, what was your proudest moment? You two together on the field oh, or together. whatever. Mate. It could be anything. Doesn't even have to be on the field. Could be Ooh. just playing together. together. Yeah. Just playing for the club, playing for one club. Yep. I think that's it. How many games did really you play together? Together. You know how they have those stats? They've got heaps of stats. It'd be hard to moment. say. I, be uh, over 200. Be two, yeah. 250 yep. yeah. together. 
Yeah. There yeah, was there easy. was four of us really, wasn't there? There was there was us two Westy and Granny. Granny. And then Dars played a lot as well. Yeah. And then he did his, he did a, had those couple of knee injuries that um that sort of halted that a little yeah. bit. But it would have been yeah, it would have been well There's nothing that sticks maybe, out to you at all where you got where you're just like, Yep, that's one of the best moments I've ever had and John and you guys were together. Um <laughs> are we we, from from a from a bulldog's point of view, there there was probably so many to be honest that, yep. and that's and that's just being honest that we yeah, yeah. that we loved every moment. Um, but we had some good times playing state footy. We had some great times playing for Australia. That would have um, been yeah, go, going going away and um, spending some time together and and that sort of stuff. Um, playing in a different environment with different guys from different clubs and and that they, they were the moments where um, you know we we loved it, but you also loved then you know. If you were playing dunks and, and ads, you'd be, you know, and you become mates from that. And yeah, you, yep. you get, I was young at the time. We are yeah. both pretty young and you got older guys and you got Harvey and Silvani and these blokes, Bradley, and you're like, wow, how good's, <laughs> yeah. how good's this? And you're learning from them. And so but, that, that, were, that were good moments but, as well. Yeah, but even in, in saying that too, like you can't, you can't um, replace that 10 minute, 15 minute window of just playing for the Bulldogs yeah. and after a win. Yeah, you, you, totally agree. Though, those moments for you yeah, and, and your mates point. are just they're the special moments because nobody you've done all the hard work and it's finally time where you can just go oh. yeah the other side and of it you, too is probably the, and and the 10 minutes before you run out i think is the other side of it so and i agree that the 10 minutes after when you can just go oh we did it you know and you yeah. put your arm around and yeah. you and you and you celebrate but that 10 minutes before when you need your mate when you're absolutely nervous and you know you can you you, you just can't focus and you need you your mate to, yeah, yeah, exactly. And he just gives you a little, a little nod yeah. and you're like, okay, we're in, we're in good hands. It's we're funny you say today. that because we, we always come together right before the bounce. So like yep. we'll do our five star handball into like our, with Bont, with the skip. Yep. He, he tells us like what he's doing and then, or what we're doing and then what we're focusing on. But then we come together and wish each other luck and say that yeah. we're here for you throughout the game. That's it. That's, that's the it. moment. And that's what we Walk do. out to yeah. our starting positions. Look play. after look after me early. Yeah. <laughs> give me, give yeah. me one early. Dad <laughs> says that to me. Yeah, give me one early. And I'm like, all right. <laughs> it's, quite it, funny. It, it's just a little thing too, though. Like, yeah. I mean, we'd just walk, you know, John and I would predominantly played up the other end, like of each other, but we'd walk past, just give each other a high five, yeah. say, good luck, mate. Yep. Like, you know, off we go. Yep. So it was yeah. just that little the, the funny, isn't nerve it? calming sort of you know, situation. We need to get the stat of how many times you gave it to Jono. <laughs> oh, ducks. <laughs> like, I mean. What do you think it is percentage wise? <laughs> Ratio, but yeah. me to give to him, oh, to him. Find oh. different ends of the uh, ground. 80 20? Oh, we have to be. Yeah. Easily. <laughs> Easily. Easily. Smitty well, I mean, played up forward a couple of times, but yeah. he got him on way too much. So I had to get him out. <laughs> <laughs> and this is very much when it was just one on goal. one. How'd you go forward, bub? How'd you go forward? I won the goal kicking one year, Dad. Did you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. What happened? You weren't playing. No, I'm going to be playing the mid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was just up there just racking them up, up in the midfield, just getting 45 every game. But It's funny, though, isn't yeah. it? That whole um, aspect of, you know, uh, Bob Murphy used to say to me before every game, set him a light today. And every and so I'd follow Bob around in the warm up, waiting for him to say it. And every now and then, I reckon deliberately he wouldn't say it. Oh, so, so you'd go and, and I'd be on edge. I'd be oh, like walking around, yeah. walking yeah, around and going. <laughs> Say it. Go, go, well, go well today, Bob. <laughs> Wait for him to say it. He goes, yeah, you too, mate. And then <laughs> deliberately, <laughs> I reckon, there were times. Wow. And, and maybe, didn't, it too, maybe Bob, didn't even man. know. You know yeah. what I mean? Um, so that, And it's funny when you, you get in those moments of you just rely on each other so much, don't you, To just to set you up mentally. You've yeah. done the work. You yep. know you've done the work. Yep. But, but more mentally, just to run out yeah. there calm. What about when you when you retired, Bob? Did you, was Jono one of the first persons you went to, first people you went to to speak to about it? Yeah. What was it? And, yeah, I and, rang him and straight question, away. Were you yeah, it was in Williamstown. I remember right exactly where it was. We were at a cafe in Williamstown. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I rang him straight away. Yep. Um, had, had the meeting with uh, with Rocket, Leon Cameron, and Matty Drain, who was a footy depo- footy uh, manager. So you met with the club before you told Jono? Or did you tell Jono before? Uh, no, nah, nah, I well, I got a phone call from the footy club. I didn't want to retire. Okay. So it was probably a little bit different where yeah, I got called in by the club and said, hey, <laughs> yeah. bub, you're done, mate. <laughs> well, was this, as well, was this um, after the season or was no, this no, mid-year? So, so this is about – it's about eight games to go of the season. Oh, no. So Give eight games cool can, I, can I just add a layer in while, while Smitty's – just as he finishes the convo, Smitty was eight games from 300. Okay. Two. Yeah. 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 So, oh, it was – no, ten, ga- ten games from eight uh, – ten games from 300. That's right. Um, but there was eight games to go in the season. And finals, if you made it. So yes. we had to make That's the right. finals, yes. play play two games, and play with 300. And But anyway, the, the conversation went that, hey, um, you know, you, 
we feel like you're not going to be in our best 22 moving forward the next year and whatever. It's a sting in the yeah, heart. It's, hard, it's like a have, real man. sting right in the heart. But uh, reality, I'm a bit of a realist. Um, but anyway, and, and but they're saying, well, we want you to get to 300 games though, because it, we think that it, you know you become such a part of the footy club. You're a one club player. We love you. We want you to play 300. And I'm thinking, there's no chance I'm coming back for a pre-season because what they wanted me to do, do a pre-season. And yeah. if, say, for example, we we pl- made finals and we played one game, I'd play one, one game. game for 300. So I'd finish on 299. They didn't want that. And Rocket was really adamant that he didn't want me to finish on 299 or whatever. Yeah. So come back, do the pre-season, play round one, and retire. <laughs> you imagine doing what? that. No. That's what they wanted you to do. Yep. Did, did, did you say anything? Uh, well, uh, a I'm not that selfish. Yeah. Um, and if I finished on two ninety eight, two ninety nine, that was yeah, that was it. And and I was happy with that. I felt lucky enough to play two ninety nine than finish on three hundred. You know what I mean? So, so I anyway. In the end, I said, well, look, and the conversations went for ages. And I said, look, I'm not doing that. If I finish on two ninety eight, two ninety nine. I'm done. So I knew that I was coming towards the end. And they said, look, you're playing good enough footy still, but we, we and we want you to play every week and barring injury and everything like that. And was just, yeah, it was just the way that it went, mm. I suppose. And then, so the, the first person I rang, I jumped in the car. Emotional as... I was going <laughs> to say, were you emotional? Oh, yeah. Like, like I mean, crying emotional, emotional like as all. I don't know what's going on. Like. And I, I think I actually, this is probably not going to go down that great, but I probably rang you... Before I rang Allison, oh. um, <laughs> that's a true oh. relationship right there, isn't that it? Is. There you go. It's it's probably probably that probably happened. happened. That might have happened with us. Everything went a little <laughs> bit <laughs> slow. <laughs> <laughs> Everything went just. Ooh, ooh. didn't we? Like, oh. Um, but I, but I did. I, I just felt yeah, that yeah. I, I needed to talk to someone who probably understands. And he probably understands. I, 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 I shouldn't say so, uh, Alison would understand. Yeah. But she would be more emotional yeah. and whatever. But yep. I, I needed to talk to Beach. Um, and so, yeah, I jumped in the car, um, and just rang emotional and, and we said, come on, we'll get together and we'll have a coffee and we'll sit down. We, so we went to coffee, uh, a cafe in Willie and sat down and had just a chat. It out. Yeah. And, and then look like, I mean, things panned out and we played two finals. I played me 300th. Um, and then that was it. So then you well, post that, um, meeting with, with, uh, the hierarchy, they, and they gave you that ultimatum. Did you at all consider... In ca- if you finished on 298, 299 and come back and play one game, did you no, at no, all no. consider that? No. And, no, and that was the no. first thing, no. No, no, no. no. Yeah, I did. And and did yeah, I did. No. <laughs> no, no, I didn't. I just, you just listen. You know oh, okay. what I mean? At yep, the end yep, of the day, yep. look, Smitty had already made that that decision. And and it was, and yeah. I, personally, it was the right yep. decision as well, knowing knowing Rowan and knowing yep. exactly what, uh, you know, the way that he the way that he was and his thought process and how he thought of everybody else first before before himself. And he's always done that throughout his whole life. But um, like, I understood where the footy club were coming from. Like I mean, yeah, playing three hundred games is 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 a wonderful achievement. Oh, like I mean, cool. it's like a fantastic cool. achievement. Very but cute. I just thought about um, I didn't want to. I didn't want to play the three hundred. Come back the next year, play the three hundred, and then just retire after one yeah. game. It yeah. looked it real. It looked really bad. Yeah. I think for and that, I just it, deep down in my guts, I just didn't want to yeah. be. I didn't want to be that person. Yeah. And when it, you when you work for something, you work for it. You yeah. really do. When it's handed to you, that's it's a chronic. different yeah, yeah a different yeah. scenario in your mindset. Yeah. So you know how you said like, you you felt like you could have kept playing. Yeah, I, yeah, I felt I felt like I had another year to did go. Did you consider going to another club? And if so, did you talk to John o about it? As that was where I was getting to. It probably. Back in sort of that period, there was no um, uh, new teams coming in. Okay. Um, so it would have so been, been a little bit harder, yeah, I think, yeah. to go to another club. Yeah. And then I didn't – and then selfishly, I didn't want to go to another club and play one year at another club because I knew some some players had done that. Some players had played here for 15, years 16 and years and, and been absolute superstars of our yep. footy club and then gone to another club and played one year and then finish. Yep. I just think that's a waste. It, well, that's yeah. just my – that's my opinion. Um, some people might not agree, and yeah. that's okay. But yeah. I didn't want to do that, Ads, to be honest. Like, I just – I was so happy that I played at the one club. The, the club that I grew up barracking for, really. Like, I mean, I grew up in Yarraville. Yeah. Um, I would come here as a six, seven, eight-year-old every week. And just mm. – oh, that was that was me. It was ingrained in me just to play for the Bulldogs, and that was it. And then once I'd finished, that was – yeah, I'd stopped, and that was it. What about – oh, sorry, I keep asking the questions. No, you're <laughs> right. I've just got heaps. What about throughout your careers – because you obviously play a lot of footy together. 
Was it was there ever any challenging times where he's had to have hard conversations with each other at all? About footy or form or whatever it may be? Not really. No. Nah. Not really. Probably, probably because you got some time. Yeah, because yeah. we played well every week. Well, because, <laughs> I was about to say that. I was about to say, you probably played well every week. No, 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 I no, didn't. I no. Didn't. no, no, no worry. Now, the hard conversations would would come, but they weren't, they weren't, they no, were never, okay. they were never aggressive, like, in that sense. Sometimes you, you ride the emotion of footy and, you know, you've got to make a, you've got to have a hard conversation with someone. Well, you just got to have a conversation with someone. And we always had that with the, yeah. with each other. And I wasn't the confronting type of guy really anyway. Yeah. Um, so we just have a general chat. Yeah. And that was the thing. You just chat normally, right? Like, I mean, we might have had a go at each other on the footy field for sure. Like, I mean, you know, if BJ didn't handball the ball to me because his hands were painted on, <laughs> like, um, oh yeah, I might, God, so it's a bit like Adam. <laughs> I, might, I might have said, Hey, Beach, come on. Like, you know, and get that heated, yeah. but it was never really, Hey, Beach, mate. You know, you wouldn't get you personal. Nah, no, I never. No, nah, no. Nah. Nah. no way. No, nah, well, we had that drive to make each other better all the time, and that yeah. was the and that was the element of why you know the relationships are, well, are strong and, and last yeah. forever yeah. because you you've got that mental approach to just wanting to yeah. be the very best that you that you can, and you know you've got someone next to you yeah. who can help you do it. And without even saying it, like, and I don't tell Josh enough at all. Like, the, he motivates me a lot to want to be better and want to be a better teammate just by the way that he goes about it. I'm sure there was elements to you guys. And your games in doing that, you wouldn't necessarily tell each other, but you'd look at Bubba and you'd look at John and be like, "Yeah, I wanna, I'm motivated to want to play better because I know how it Bubba is." It starts oh. early though in your relationships, I reckon. Yeah. So, like as Smitty said before, he would grab me after training for an hour and just kick because my kicking was was average. So, yeah. it's it's that build from those early stages where my respect levels just go through the yeah. roof, and you yep. just sit there admiring admiring a guy who's playing senior footy, and that's where I want to be, and and all that sort of stuff. Um, and that's. And that's the element because yeah. someone took a bit of care in you. You go, okay, well, yep, I'm in this for for life now. I know what you're saying, mate. You just exactly want, I felt. yeah, and, they, and but you just want your teammates to do to be the best yeah. that they can be. Yeah. Like, and and you would See, go, you would do everything you can to make yourself that your teammates are better players than you know what they are at that, at that point. Because we we so. had that drive to win win the next flag for the club. There were yeah. every, every session yeah. we did, we talked about it every year. We talk about it personally because <laughs> we grew 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 up barracking for the club, and you're like. We want to be the next. We talk to the old timers, you know, and they, you know, the '54 team, and they'd be like, "Come on, boys, we want it. We want another group to share it with." Yeah. And and I've spoken to Dunks about this in the yeah. past, and that's why 2016 was. So, I know Schmidt was a part of it as coach, but even just watching it was so special, special. because I'd been waiting 35, 40 years to to witness a flag <laughs> by the club. You know, our first uh, year we won the reserves, yes. best of, for reserves oh, grand yeah, final yeah, yeah, um, in '94, yeah. which was an amazing thing. Like it was yeah. my first ever premiership in Bevo, footy. Bevo played. Bevo played in that in, in that in the team. In the, in, in the, the dogs too. You yeah. didn't yeah. play together, did you? We played yeah, together yeah. in the. Bevo, oh, yeah. Bevo played in the team in as well. the in the ninety four yeah. um, ninety four premiership, reserves reserves premiership. premiership. So we had that little carrot, yeah. and I and I lived on that because it was like I said, it was the first ever flag that I ever ever won as a throughout mm. a, um, my footy career, and it was the only ever one that yep. uh, that we got. So we had that early. So it was like, okay, we got this one. How do Let's we uh, how do we get? What that? was the furthest so, you? Because ninety was it ninety seven ninety eight where it's that point. It was a goal. It Liber kicked it. Liber kicked it and it wasn't allowed or something. Was score that, score review <laughs> seriously. Like, honestly, yeah, it was Liber, a goal. And it well, wasn't I was a in the goal screen. I've always I've said the whole way along that um, that uh, that it was a goal. But um, you've seen it. But it is it is. Yeah. You know the decisions it, are made. It, it is what it is. But, is but, but is. that was yeah. the closest getting to a grand final and. Yeah, we, yeah kicked, we kicked six points in the last quarter that yeah. day. Yeah. Um, we're we're 24, we had a chance. 24 points up in the last quarter with seven and a half minutes to go. Oh, you know, in, so we and that was that was our fault. Yeah, beaten by two points. We we it, messed that up. And then 98 was a bit of retribution. Yeah, we, yeah. Andrew McLeod smashed us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we played up. Yeah. He played against yeah. a pretty good team. He, we did, yeah. and then and then the and then I was lucky enough to play in three more. Eight, nine and ten. And yeah. oh nine right. was oh nine was the one we were seven points up in the last quarter, and we just uh, Nick Rewalt kicked a couple. We just couldn't finish that one off. Oh eight was a learning. Oh nine we should have. Oh ten we'll beaten up as a as a side as you do when you you're playing consistent finals. You just it wears you down. Yeah, and um, and, and as, a, as, well. as as a group, our, we were just spent in that last uh, last hurrah. Hey, had you ever do you ever speak? Because we have we've touched on last year. Not not necessarily the game. Well, you probably have well, but yeah, not yeah. the game itself. But we've just kind of spoken about you know how nice it would have been if we won together and. So we're fortunate enough to still be in a position to hopefully be able to do that. Did you guys ever talk about that? Like after, oh. in particular, after that night, it's ninety seven. Sorry, the one is it ninety seven? The one where it, sh it was a goal, but it wasn't allowed. Yeah, yeah that yeah. was the one. Do you ever talk about it? Like, oh man. Well, you see Smitty's reaction. You see Smitty's reaction after that game, and you know the 
it's sort of you know the the footage that everyone shows is, is Smitty punching the ground in oh. in disappointment. So you you ride that for a period of a period of time. You no, talk, you no talk question. about it. like you talk about it, but you don't talk about it. It's not a little bit like Fight Club. I well, suppose, you think but about it, though, don't you, Bubba? You oh think yeah, about it. look like I mean deep. Oh, deep yes. down, right <laughs> in the bottom of your guts. Yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah. you think about it today. It, it still, turns. It's it something turns. that always. It's just. It's just amazing when why it enters you, why your do mind. Why do you play footy? What, yeah, well, seriously. Yeah, like, I mean, why do you play yeah. football? You don't play for any individual accolade or whatever. Yeah. You play footy to win a premiership with your best teammates, yeah. with yeah. your best mates. That's right. It's the only thing you play for. Because everything else is a bonus. <laughs> Being part of a good it. team, you know what I mean. That 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 allows the other things to just to happen naturally. But ultimately, it's all about that, and that's why it still sits every now and then. Like my. Yeah, I'd love to win a flag still, win a club in some way, you know what I mean? Like, it, that's, it still sits there. It's a, it's, a, it's a factor that we'll never, I think we'll never leave. Yeah. Well, and that's why, like, I mean, even now as a coach, and, a co- you know, I love coaching you two and, and the boys. Like, I mean, every single player that we have at our club now, you just love coaching. Mm. But I will do everything, everything as a coach to, to make sure that you guys win the ultimate prize. And that is my pure desire because in life and in footy, that's all you want. Yeah. That's all you want to did, play. Did for. it help calm in your mind? So we've never actually spoken about that with winning it in 2016. Oh, did, it, did, it, did, did it calm? Just, did it calm you? Because yeah. where yeah, we're on sitting now yeah. is a different mindset, I reckon, to where where you are because you're a part of it. Oh, it yeah. filled a massive hole. Yeah, it filled a massive hole. And and like in some part now, I, I didn't really do it do much. But if if I was able to help the defenders. Um, and the team defence or whatever win the grand final that day in some little part, whether it was a 0.5% or, or Still. 1%, that filled my heart with everything that I had. Yep. Um, that was amazing for mm. me. I'm going to start crying. Oh, <laughs> here we go. Uh, but you know what I mean? Like, I mean, yeah, that, that, that day yeah. seriously was just, it was phenomenal. That's it was, a, it just, and it filled, it filled a little hole. No. And I, but I want the hole again right. filled. Yeah. Again, so. we even hole. even today, five hole degrees hole. and rain, and you're out there <laughs> trying to get around the boys. <laughs> no, well, I, I have I have to say, Bub, that I've, obviously this is my eleventh season now, and I, I don't think I've come across a more passionate person that ever. I have definitely haven't come um, past a more passionate coach than yourself. Um, Choco was right up there as one of the most passionate coaches that I've had. But you're right there with him. The empathy and care that you show, and and what you just spoke about. So we see that all the time, and I see that all the time. And for us as players, and again, I, I sound like I'm not old. I'm 29. I know you guys are there, but it's refreshing. It's so refreshing to see it because you talk, you touch on it on training session like today, and it was literally six degrees out there, raining. No one, no, no one wanted to be out there. And you hear, Bubba, come on, boys! Oh, what a day! It's great. Let's go. <laughs> this and that. But you hear this. He was all running the around time. like he was playing oh. again. Oh, and and you good. hear this all the about. time, and it's just it's great. And it's how good, great. honestly, the the best thing. How good is lamb shank soup? Seriously. Oh. Now that oh, is. Oh, that that is oh, have you had that? No, because we've had COVID. Oh, oh, this hasn't well, had it and we this don't have a meat to, raffle anymore. Now, so. it's, now, now, okay, now well, it's winter. Now <laughs> it's winter. Bubba has to bring that bring that in again. Bring I, reckon. In, yeah. I might have to put the hat around because seven dollars <laughs> fifty is shank now. No, I tell you, I tell you one thing. Bubba was running around that good. Uh, today and throughout his whole oh, time, he was on the massage table, physio table Whoa. yesterday. Actually, oh, here we go. Yeah, well, I knew this was. Gonna <laughs> go. I told you I was going to bring no, it up. I knew this was. I was going to take a photo. He's laying down. He's got no shirt. He's got a towel on. He's getting massaged through his chest. There. No, he's a bit sore. He's I'm a bit sore. Yeah, I'm in a little bit of trouble at the moment. But I'm 49 now. Still, yeah. so it's, I'm still out there. It was birthday though. treatment. It was. It was. was, yeah. it, was. it was a little bit of birthday treatment. Yeah, but you do. <laughs> I have seen you a couple times Thanks, in the. I have seen you a couple times in the um in the physio room. The, the guys here really freaking tr- look after you, don't they, bub? Well, <laughs> quite often I see him in there and there's no players. Uh, oh, can I jump in? Oh, no, we've got to treat bubba. <laughs> see, that's the Three status. Three got to get you something. That's the status. Like, yeah. but it's, it's even belly you too. Belly the belly's, belly's amazing. Yes. The belly is like, I mean, he will look after me like <laughs> something <laughs> shocking. Um, but I see it as a little bit of an investment. Yeah. You know, if I don't get that treatment, I can't come out the track. Oh. Yeah, you know, and give give my everything. So because I, was so today you were flying around <laughs> after that treatment yesterday. Oh, I was just running around today trying to try and get warm. <laughs> <laughs> because a few weeks ago, wasn't it, Bubba? You're doing a, you're doing a warm up drill with someone out outside one of the games. Yeah. And what'd you do? You tweak your knee or yeah, something? Yeah, yeah. Bailey Dale. Out. Well, talk about rituals and yeah, you know, things that players do. Bailey Dale and I do a, a little yeah you know, thing before every game. Um, and he comes in and lays a tackle, and I just sort of take the tackle and jump backwards, and I, I hit him you know, nice and hard, but he folds me back, and I land on my legs, lands on my <laughs> knee. But round two against Carlton, um, I landed and, and actually twisted my knee, and I'm like, oh, 
gee, that's not good. That's and it like was really sore. And I'm like, nah, got to keep going, got to keep going. So I'm limping through warm up, kicking the balls, running up and down the stands that Eddie had like to get back up the coach's box, and it blew up like a balloon. I'm thinking, oh no, this is bad. This is bad. So anyway, so yeah, so I torn the meniscus of me, of the, the lateral side of my meniscus. Um, yeah, Look, I've been laughing. But, but, but that's, your, that's your second worst uh, post footy injury. Didn't you rip your hammy? Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, you yeah, tore the hammy off the bone playing cricket. Yeah, we're, oh, we're not that's funny. Yeah. 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 Oh, everyone, I reckon most people know the story. Oh, yeah, well, ev- yeah, everyone knows the story. Yeah. Rip. You, have you ever ripped your hammy off the bone? No, I haven't. No. Oh, they landed the chopper in the middle of Williamstown. I would to get him out. He <laughs> couldn't move. <laughs> well, well, the story goes, like, I mean, it was at Willie Creer ground, or Willie footy ground, yeah. um, and I'm getting carried off on a stretcher <laughs> <laughs> playing cricket. And uh, anyway, so one of the boys that rang Allison and said, oh, and I never used to wear a helmet, and Allison was always really worried about me getting hit in the head. So one of the boys, Craig Sheedy, um, great captain of ours, rang Allison and said, and before – He'd even sort of spat it out. She goes, he's been hit in the head, hasn't he? And he goes, oh, no, no, it's, everything's okay. Al, he's just done his hamstring. And Elsa's like, oh, is that all he's done? And I'm like, well, hang on, I've ripped it off the bone. Yeah. But oh, um, no. yeah, it was pretty bad. Nah, Jono's yeah. got to go. you got to go. You're pressed for time, aren't you, Jono? I am a little bit now. We'll we'll finish. Too, it's been great. We'll oh, finish. Hey, no, we'll finish. Oh. He's, watched, he's watched a Top Gun tonight. Yeah, he's going exactly. to Top Gun. Back in Geelong? Yep. But we'll finish on your Instagram account. Oh, yes. Oh. It got hacked. It got hacked. <laughs> I've never been a big one in socials. <laughs> and, um, I saw last night you put a post out, I, a story. Well, well a, a mate of um, mate of Smitty's who who we both know now as well um, over in over in WA highlighted me to the fact that um, there's an account which is an identical account, but all it was mine's Brad Johnson 06. It was Brad Johnson 06, and it was identical. Same profile same pic, photo. same oh, everything. Had more followers than I. That's did. what I was <laughs> going to say. <laughs> I don't, I don't, that. That, that, that. that was 23 hours old. I don't know how that works. <laughs> Seriously. I you know, saw that and I was like, I got, how I got does eight, that work? I've got 800 followers. I think you guys need to sort of, you know, try and pump me up a little bit more to, uh, to get to, we'll, we'll get on your, get on yeah, your coattails yeah, we'll. a little bit. But, yes, yeah, so I've been hacked. And, um, Did you just sort it out? I don't know what to do. So I've re- we've reported it. What, what more can you, <laughs> no, I think what you more can you do? To, yeah. I've got to get a blue tick apparently. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> how do I get but a blue tick? But, no, I actually got a message about that. To get the blue tick, oh. and, I, and I thought it was a because th- Artie, it is. remember Artie? Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, oh, I'm staying well away from that. So I haven't got a blue tick. Yeah. Anyway, so <laughs> if they message her, don't don't buy don't it. do it. No, but yeah. So I've, so now I don't know what to do because we've just reported it, and I've tried to alert my few hundred followers that, <laughs> <laughs> that, that I've been hacked. Because I this, reported no, it, that, but the hacker was sent, the hacker was sending messages, personal messages to everyone. Per, yeah, to people in in the contact my following list or whatever. Wow. Yeah. So. That's and that's how I found out about it. Otherwise, uh, I had no you, idea. How do you go with technology? No, I'm getting better, a lot better. Getting better. I'm bump. getting a lot better. Uh, I'm not too bad. Yeah, yeah. yeah you guys know. I know that how to work the computer. <laughs> Coding. Yeah, that's Adam Traw, Miss Tackle. Adam Traw. He's not lying. He's not lying. Doesn't happen that often. <laughs> nah, thanks for joining us, guys. It's been a great chat. I think we've both. Um, yeah, like we said earlier, we've missed. It. Well, we haven't had John yet, but it's been great to get you here finally. Finally organised it and found time, and Jono's got to go, so we'll, we'll close it there. Nah, it's been brilliant. Thanks, Thanks for having us. Yeah, it's been thanks. great fun. It's been great. Awesome. Thanks.